Ah, see him a beast when he hear that sound like ah, Yeah, beat on the beat when he hear that sound like Ooh, Yeah, bitch and a champ only me one round like ha, Yeah, me, I'm a G ring, he in the sound Fighting like Fighting a Cage Fury, 119, Thursday, April 20th The man himself, Colin Lubers Colin, my man, nice to talk to you again Technically fight week, six days out, how you feeling? Amazing, man, I feel great Yeah, no, yeah this fight week's a little bit awkward you gotta do things. Gotta do things a little differently. Start a little earlier in the week, but uh, but it's good, man. It's not gonna make a difference. How do you feel about the Thursday night card? A little bit unique. I like it, man. Like I train every single day, so I don't think it's gonna make too much of a difference. Yeah, it's uh, I'm in, it's just fights. I'm excited to watch fights any night. Exactly. Of the week. And the best and thing about it after this, after a good win, you get to go enjoy a full weekend. You get that nice four day weekend, exactly. Yeah, exactly. Yep. And if you don't mind, I would love to start off with your last fight at cage fairy 115 because right. in my opinion that was the fight of the year it was insane i uh, think so too i think so too i think they had a little bit of uh some some fake some fake votes on the last one but who knows they had a good fight too i mean it was a five round war a brawl uh yeah, man. unfortunately the decision did not go your way but it was a close fight it could have gone anyone's way looking back having all that time since the fight how do you feel about that war Bro, that was such a blessing, like a blessing in disguise too. You know, like I learned more from that than than the than what a what a what a loss feels like. You know, losses fucking hurt, but I learned way more in the long run. You know, when in the in the grand scheme of things, like I just I'm on another level now, a completely another level. Like mentally, physically, like it's just crazy. five rounds is different, bro. Like I'm in good shape, you know, like. But it's different. That tests you in a different way. It doesn't matter how good your cardio is. That's when it comes down to fucking cojones. You know, it's just, it's different. It's like it's a crazy experience, almost psychedelic in a way. And I, you know, like that's that's what I was gonna ask. Like, twenty five minutes fighting another human being for the first time in your life. Like, what did that do for your experience? You know, like I, you're you're an experienced fighter now. That's a lot of cage time. It's a lot of cage time, bro. It was um. It was it was grueling, dude. It was grueling. I remember at the at the end of the fight, I was still good. Like I was thinking, I was I can keep fighting, but uh, after it settled and the adrenaline wore down, like my body took a toll. But uh, I remember even after the fight, like I still had adrenaline. I was good. I actually like in that moment, I was for sure I won the fight. Like I was kind of confused. So I'm not gonna lie. Like when they announced his name, I was like, but at the same time, I was so tired. But I was like, fucking, I just I, I'm not sure, dude. It was it was grueling, bro. It definitely tested me. Tested my will, and I I feel like I passed with flying colors, you know. And do, even though you lost, do you feel like your even stock though. went up? Yes, that's that's one thing who have would have actually heard from a lot of people. Yeah. Now I'm not the one who's gonna go and say like and make my loss sound cool and all, but at the end of the day, like I gained a lot of fans from it. And I had a lot of people tell me that it was the best fight they ever seen, and uh, that and coming from some people who like aren't even like, who are fight fans, you know. So uh, I, I, it was a it was a crazy fight, man. It was a crazy experience. I'm definitely glad I have that on my belt, my resume. From an outside perspective, I think your stock 100 percent went up. I mean, your followers Thank went you, up, your, the views went up. People were voting for you for fight of the year. So it was an incredible fight, and I'm even more excited to see you out there again next week. And just real quick, talking about Raheem Forrest, he lost like two weeks ago to Chuck Buffalo. I was there in person. <laughs> So let me ask you, which would you yeah. rather? Would you rather fight Chuck for a title or get revenge on Raheem? Well, so me, me and Chuck trained together. He was he was with MMA Masters for a little bit, and he left was on he? very good terms. Yeah, so he, me okay. and him were actually like, we were cool. When we were in the gym, we were super cool. I would talk to him just like how I'm talking to you, you know? And um, he left because of some, like, I believe family issues and stuff that I don't know too many details about. So I would never ask for the fight for Chuck, you know? Like, and I believe he would say the same. We've never discussed it, but I mean, I don't, I wouldn't think that'd be a, we wouldn't have to do that unless we're fighting for like a UFC world title or something like that, you know? And I think he can actually agree on that. But, um, but honestly, man, like I was, I was, I was really excited to see that fight. I didn't really have a winner in that, you know, cause Raheem, yeah. Raheem's a cool dude after the fight. Like he was a very humble guy, you know, he, he had nothing but good things to say about me. And uh, I would definitely, I would always like to get, to get, get that win back though, you know? I, didn't and I feel you... like we could see each other again, definitely. Like, I think Raheem Scott would it takes to go to the UFC. I think we're all going to the UFC. So, definitely, uh, all of us might cross paths one day, you know? 
yeah, that those are three very talented names right there. And I didn't know you and Chuck used to train together. So that's that's awesome, man. That's yeah. some cool stuff. And most importantly, dude, next week, April 20th, you got Hugh Pulley for your second Cage Fury fight. What are your thoughts on that fight? How do you feel about your opponent? I think uh I think he was good, man. I think he's a veteran. He's got he's eight and six, you know, he's had he's had been on the wrong side. He's got he's got had some losses too, you know, but that shit, I got some losses too, you know. Some some of the times that those make you better, you know. So I think he's a really dangerous guy. I think he has a dangerous style. He's a little bit awkward. Um overall, I think I'm a much better fighter. And I, I'm always gonna say that about my opponents, and they could, I really do believe that. And I think I have all the tools to beat him. I think I'm actually a really bad stylistic matchup for him. But uh, but you never know when you get in there, man. You know, I'm expecting the best version of him possible. You know, I've, I've seen some of his last fights, and I've I've seen a lot of things I like. You know, I, I see some things I like, and I see some things I definitely feel like I can capitalize on. But I don't, I'm not obsessing about that so much. At the end of the day, I'm going in there. I'm just fighting the way I know how to fight. And that's another thing I took from this last five-round fight. I know now, in a, in a funny way, like, I've always kind of avoided getting tired when I'm fighting. It, it sucks. Nobody likes to feel tired in a fight. You know, if it was up to me, I would – always move around, stay on the outside, pick people apart and never have to feel that, 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 that gut wrenching feeling. But I feel that every single day in training. And that's what the last fight showed me. Like I'm supposed to feel like that in a fight, you know, like, like I train every single day in training like that and push myself in training. Why would I avoid that in a fight? And now knowing that I can only have to go three rounds, I know I can go push the gas every minute. So like, if this fight goes three rounds, I'm excited to walk out of there exhausted, like it, knowing that I gave everything out there. And that's one thing I took away from this. Like I've always tried to stay on the outside and I've finished three round fights and it hasn't been tired before. And that's always fucked with me. It's been like, wow, man, I still have so much left to give. And so now I know like I'm I'm leaving out of that cage exhausted if I don't finish them. But and I think I, I honestly believe that I'm going to finish them. It's hum man. me being hum as humble as possible. I just You're a I humble guy. You're a humble guy. You're just giving a prediction. All good, bro. Yeah. All good. And your second fight with Cage Fury. Are you excited to be back with them as a promotion? Did you enjoy them? Yeah, they yeah, they treated me very well. They treated me very well, man. Um, and I I need to get I need to get my hand raised in that cage. You know. You got to get that first uh that first Cage Fury win, man. It's it's coming back. Exactly. Coming. And this next. one's this one's this one's on on my though actually. So I was gonna say. So I went to his hometown last time. This is actually uh. He was hometown too, so he's oh, actually really? the hometown guy. But I'm still, I got some family going, I got some friends going, so it's kind of. I don't think there's gonna the judges are gonna mean so the judges shouldn't mean so much there, but the judges won't be needed. Well, because you're still at MMA Masters, right? Still with me? Yeah, oh, yeah it's I just it's you. just lagging a little yeah, bit. You're yeah, yeah, I'm still at MMA. Yeah, I'm yeah. at MMA Masters. Because that's that's uh that's like right in Miami, right? Yeah, we're in Miami, so it's like a four hour drive away. Damn, that's a long state. <laughs> you hear me it still? Is. It is. Okay, just making sure. Um, yeah, 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 we're good. We're, cho we're chopping a little bit, but I, I still got you. All good. So um, that being said, though, I was going to ask about the proximity to your guys' gym. Like four hours is a bit of a hike, but it's still close enough. Are you bringing like an entourage? Who's going to be in your corner? You expecting to have a lot of fans there? Um. I sold a little bit of tickets, nothing crazy. Um, it's going to be more family. And I'm actually – my family is super stoked because they haven't been able to see me fight in years. Mm. But, um, no, I'm bringing – it's going to be me and a couple of my training partners. My coaches, uh, my main coaches, they have – they're going to be in the UFC that weekend. So uh, – but I'm bringing some of, like, my closest training partners, some people who I got really good vibes with. And I'm going to head up there a couple of days early. I'm going to get an Airbnb so I can be comfortable, know the area a little bit, sleep in the bed a couple of nights, have a kitchen. That made a big. That makes a big difference, you know. Not getting stuck in a hotel room with nothing to eat, and you got to eat the shit in the Hard Rock. Um. So yeah, I'm going out. There. I'm gonna actually come out there Monday, so I'll be there for a few days. And uh, it's just gonna be me and some of the teammates, man. So it's gonna be good vibes. Are you still training with uh, Colby down there? Yeah, yeah. Me and Colby train like every day. And I, he's just been in the center of the conversation. He's kind of always in the center of the conversation, but yeah. he's again in the in, in big talks right now because he's next for Leon. Dana has made mm -hmm. it. Uh, apparent and i'm not asking to break any fight news or anything like that but being with colby as often as you are is he preparing for that fight and how are you guys feeling about that in the gym yeah yeah no even dana's dana's confirmed about it as far as i know it's happening you it's know happening. so uh so yeah there's no secrets he's he's putting in work he's always he always puts in work man he doesn't he's always always even he's always working always
even if it's probably in his house doing push ups. Like that man's always doing something. And what did he have to say about your fight? Was he impressed? Yeah, man. He's he's uh you know, he he's he's like a big brother to me in a way. So he is a little bit hard on me. But he had nothing but good things to say too, you know? Like at the end of the day, it's like I went out there, it's not like I fucking quit. Like I went out there, I fought as hard. I, I fought hard, man. I fought as hard as I could. I was almost stopped at one point and finished that round on top, you know, and fought a couple more rounds, like pretty concussed. And uh, so I, I showed it. And bro, I look like I've, I don't know if you've ever seen one of my other fights. I've never grappled that much in a fight. I feel like I have amazing grappling, but it's never got the show because I've been so successful with my striking. I fucking grappled my ass off in that fight. And uh, that first thing he told me, he was like, bro, you look like a D1 wrestler. I was training with you every day, bro. So yeah. uh, that's another thing I'm super excited. And that's another, like, that I'm excited to go, that I know I have amazing grappling now. And now I kind of proved it to myself, too. Because, like I said, I would kind of avoid those that in fights before because, like, I was more style. I did stylistically better standing up. But now I know, dude, I'm no fuck. I'm not, I'm not going to be an easy match on the ground, for sure. I feel like I have a lot better grappling than a lot of these guys, and they still haven't really seen it. So, uh, so it's going to be good. That's a good compliment being a good wrestler from Colby Covington. So yeah, props tell me to you. It. Thank you, brother. You know, I, assuming you get the dub, you stay healthy, everything goes your way. I'm not looking, I'm not asking you to look past Hugh necessarily, but what is your ideal 2023? How many fights would you like to get in? Um, I've, as many as possible, like before. So I've, this is going to be my third fight in the last year. And before that, I, I had a two-year layoff because because of injuries. So my body's healthy, man. I'm at a point right now to where, like, I'm a sponge and I'm absorbing so much. And this fight is actually, like, this, like, at this point, it's almost starting to feel, like, nonchalant. Like, because I'm doing it so much. And I want it after this. I'm on a three-fight deal with them. So, um... I mean, I'm prepared to take another fight there, but I, my plans are to go out there and get an outstanding finish and uh, hopefully get a contender call or get a short notice UFC call. I'm always in shape for it, and I think I have the right connections. I have the right people around me. Not looking past this weekend. This weekend, my, I have to go out there and execute and get my job done because none of that means anything if not. But, uh, but, yeah, I think I can get a big call after this. But if not, I'm prepared to fight another fight in Cage Fury and keep making noise. That would be great, man. Contender series is like uh, late July, August. So that lines up yeah, pretty well. Time, yeah, exactly. The timings could be perfect. But like I said, I have to go out there and execute first. I'm not looking at anything past this right now. 100%. Like, man, 100%. There's, there's not, there, life doesn't really exist past 420 right now. Boy, I'm looking forward to 422 for the fights and other reasons, my friend. <laughs> uh, <laughs> UFC, we're talking that. Last weekend was UFC 287. I just got to ask you, Nuts. bro. Izzy. Did you see that? That was insane, bro. Insane. Like, but I, you know, like I kind of saw it coming in a way because, like, how many times can the same guy beat you? Like at that at that super high level, you know, if he did, then like he's just got your number. But it's like eventually, is he's got to find you got to find that time and you got to go back and look at these mistakes you've made and eventually capitalize. And it was almost the same way he finished him in the first one. He just ran out of time. Yeah. And but, uh, he did good, man. But I Pereira's a scary guy. Oh yeah, he's a freak, he's man. Like the, yeah, he's a scary dude. He's like the butler from the Adams family. <laughs> yeah, he is, man. Dude's scary. I wouldn't. I don't know if you're on like Twitter or if you know who Mac Malley is. You know who he is? Say, that, say his name again. Mac Malley. He's just like a personality. He's got like long red hair. He wears sunglasses. He there's a video. Heard of him. There's a video of Pereira like kicking him, and it's just absolute nonsense. I would never let that happen to me. <laughs> Yeah, no, just forget brutal. that. Um, and you know that was in Miami. Did you go to that card, or did you just watch it? No, I did not. I just watched that from home. Dude, the the tickets were yeah. skyrocketing. I, I think they dropped in the last week, but even nosebleeds were like three to four hundred dollars. So it's like, it's like I New York. comfortably watched it from my living room, thirty twenty minutes away from where the show is. Not even. And what? But, like, uh, no, but sorry, go. All right, we're good. We're, we froze again. No, I wasn't going to say anything. I was just saying I, I watched it from home. And obviously your goal is to make it to the UFC one day. But, dude, what would it mean for you one day to, like, headline or even be on the main card of a Miami UFC event? It'd be like, it's, it's, it's amazing, man. So talking, it gives me chills thinking about stuff like that. 
literally on the daily, like I get so deep into these visualizations about exactly what you talked about. My eyes will start watering. I'll start getting goosebumps. And uh, I definitely believe it's a possibility. I've kind of already felt the emotions of what it would feel like now. I think I kind of already mentally put myself through those. And um, you still with me? Yeah, I got you. All right, there we go. Now my phone showed me that it was going to die soon, but we still got some time. Yeah, I got like one question left anyways. No, of course. But yeah, no, I think uh, I definitely like, it'll be amazing, brother. It'll be amazing. I think it's it's definitely in a, a big possibility. I think it's more than a possibility with the way your career is going, dude, for real. I'm not just saying that to kiss your ass. I think you got bright prospects. You're at a great gym with great people around you. It's looking good, my man. It's looking good. It's looking good, brother. It's looking good. Sometimes I got to take myself. Sometimes I look at it like this and uh, sometimes you step away, you know, you can actually see all the, like all the blessings that are around you. And um, I think, I think about that all the time too, man. Like looking, like taking a step back and looking around and looking at the support that I have and the people who really truly believe in me. It's a, uh, it's it's amazing bro it's amazing it's anybody else would, would would wish for the position that i'm in right now so uh i don't i don't take it lightly and i'm definitely definitely blessed and just while we're talking about your support team you have a huge fight coming up a lot of eyes on you ufc fight pass close enough to ta uh, miami four hours away in your state is there anything you'd like to say to everybody that we haven't covered yet if so the mic is yours i would say buy tickets because you're not going to want to miss this, but I believe they just sold out. Yeah, they're sold out. So that's good news. But um, no, nah, man, I'm here to put on for Florida. I'm here to put on for my team, my MMA Masters. And uh, I think Florida is full of talent. And I fought a lot of guys from here. And I think we need to stop fighting each other and start actually getting guys outside of here and stop tarnishing our records against some amazing fighters here. But um, no, man, just people tune in because this is an opportunity to kind of see me on a lower level before I really hit that big stage. And uh, I want a chance to like meet as many fans as I possibly can right now, build relationships with people that I might not be able to later in a busy life. So uh, tune in now and get the opportunity to follow me, man, because I really, I, I believe I'm going to take off. Hell yeah, man. And uh, folks, I promise you, you're going to want to go follow this guy. And if his fight coming up is anything like his last fight, you're not going to want to miss. You're not going to blink. April 20th, Cage Fury 119 on UFC Fight Pass. Colin Lubricks, thank you so much for joining me. Appreciate the yes, time. Sir. And kick some ass, dude. When you get that double, do it again, okay? Thank you, my brother. I appreciate that.